First and foremost, on behalf of the Henry County Police Department, my deepest sympathies to Aaron and Asher, John and Sherry, Kevin, and the whole Smith family. I also want to thank all the agencies that came here today to support us in our time of need. We are here today to honor a hero, Officer Michael Wayne Smith. The events that day on December 6 made it easy to recognize that Officer Smith was a hero. He saved lives that day. But I would argue that Michael became a hero that day because he was a hero long before that. He was a hero when he took an oath to protect and serve a community from which he was raised. He was a hero in a loving way he cared for his family. He was a hero to his son, Asher. Who he raised in his own giving values. He was already a hero in the way he answered every call for service, treating each person with respect and dignity that they deserved. Most people like to think that they would risk their lives for their spouse or their children. But a police officer does this for complete strangers, which Michael did that December day. Michael was a chief's cop. He didn't generate complaints, but he stayed very active. To the Smith family, I've never seen such a strong and loving family as yours in the weeks after the incident as Michael fought to stay among us. You are a strong family with strong beliefs. It made me proud and honored to be among you. And now I know where Michael got his will to stay in the fight. I also now know where his goodness and caring come from as well. Your loved one's time was too short. He didn't get a proper goodbye, but he went where duty called. He defended us to the end and he finished well. We will not forget what he did for us. Your loss is unfair. We all grieve with you. God bless you. I have received calls from chiefs all over the state to offer their condolences. I've gotten calls from the governor-elect and the director of the FBI telling me to stay strong for my officers. But I'm here to tell you, in this case, I have drawn on their strength of my officers. Where the organizational chart has been turned upside down, I am proud to work among you, the finest officers who work the streets. Would Michael Shift, they watch South, please stand for just a minute. I know your hearts are heavy, so is mine. I know this is horrible and unimaginable, but I need you to rise above this. Do it for yourselves. Do it for the organization. Do it for our community. And do it for Michael. We will be here to help you and support you along the way. I would like all law enforcement, fire, 911, all public safety personnel to please stand just for a minute. So why get in this business if this is how it ends? If this is what it's all about, why sign on? Regardless if you're fighting fire, fighting crime, or taking the call, you sign on because you know that there are people who depend on you. You sign on because you know you're making a difference and it would be chaos without you. You sign on for the personal satisfaction that you bring home from a job that only someone who fills your role can understand. You sign on because it's a calling and you truly care about the welfare of others. Do not ever forget why you signed on. Just for a second, Smith family members, turn around to take this all in. If you're able to stand, please do so. Don't look at the great numbers, but look at their eyes. They signed on because there are people like this who are willing to be there for you. 
It is who we are and what we do. Brothers and sisters, and there's nothing quite like it. And Michael will always be part of this family. Thank you. That's it. Michael didn't make it, but I say he did, because now he sits in God's house to watch over us for the rest of our days. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called... Blessed are the peacemakers, for they be called the children of God. (laughs) 